That was for you, Nightwalker. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Zaffy Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And this is Resident Evil 3, um, the remake. And so this is a double double header this weekend. We played it on Friday night. Playing today, it's Sunday. Uh, welcome. Yeah. And Happy Nightwalker Sunday. here, VB, Duart, Nightlight. What's going on, everybody? Um, I mean, VB's here, but she also had to do something quick, and so she disappeared. Okay. How'd we fool you last stream, Duart? Yeah, now now I'm super curious about that comment. Cool girl, Jacob, Joshua, Denise, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, Outer Worlds, nice name. Maybe Mortal yeah. Kombat. Uh, BX yeah. Rail, Candy the Cat, aw. Rick <laughs> Astley, Shredder, Jason. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday, fun day. Yeah, no invasions to, to today. We're trying to finish up uh, Resident Evil 3. Um, cause we're not going to be streaming next weekend since it's, uh, Thanksgiving. And we got a Christmas decorate. Yeah, we got, we got a Christmas decorate and we'll be out of town for, uh, visiting family in San Diego. So, um, yeah, so that's why we'll be off next weekend and we wanted to, hopefully we heard, we heard Resident Evil 3 was quick. So we think we can probably finish it on this stream. Oh, <laughs> Nightlight says no. Ah, no. Uh, oh, well, that's, that's because we're slow. Um, but Next weekend is, is Christmas decorating because Ken actually put in his vows to me that he would always be up for holiday decorating because I'm big yeah. into that. So, true. Um, who knows? Maybe there's room to do something one live stream next weekend. We'll have to figure it out and see. It might depend on how far we get in Christmas decorating. If not, then you know. It's all right. Then the weekend after. Yeah, exactly. We'll leave you in suspense for like two weeks as to whether or not we're capable of beating the <laughs> boss in Resident <laughs> Evil 3. Yeah. Yes, Jason, we are looking for Carmen in San Diego. Haven't we all been since childhood? Yeah. Yeah. It's Carmen Santiago, not San Diego. Oh, well, that's just sad. I saw something different. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> oh. Cell Zero is here. Mortal oh, Kombat thanks, Nightlight. In production. Nice. Oh, I'm excited for that. T Fitz, what's up? So I was waiting for the stream to start, but the notification <clears> didn't pop up, so I thought there was no stream and went to bed. Next day, I went to check, and there was a stream. Oh, no! Oh, Duar, we're so sorry. That's, uh, yeah. I don't know why it doesn't, you don't get a, didn't get a notification. That's a bummer. Yeah. Um, but hopefully you were able to catch up through through the playlist. And if not, I mean, it's Resident Evil. There's, there's a formula to it. So <laughs> you, know, you can just jump right in. You missed Bethany being a badass. She was, she was mainly playing last stream. It's true. Bucky was in my lap, so I was allowed to play. Bucky, can you stop eating your foot, though? Thank you. Bucky's in a little dog bed at my feet. Mm -hmm. um, only he's clearly, like, not sure whether to play or take a nap. And whenever he gets anxious, he starts just obsessively licking his feet. I'm also worried he might have allergies. But he's so young, I don't want to start treating allergies until I kind of have a, a better understanding of if he really has them. Facts. Yep, yep. Oh, Alan, wait, uh, the laundry. Doing his laundry today. Sundays. I'm doing laundry Great too. Yeah. I'm doing like all the like stripping the bed and cleaning the sheets and like all that kind of laundry. So it's all the, it's all the big stuff. Alpha Ghost, not sure when uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to, we're going to start playing that. Um, Candy Thanks the Cat. Gasly. Thank you. We got uh, Friday nights, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is when we usually stream. And then Sundays, 1230, like, you know, half the year we probably stream uh, around that time. Yeah, uh, mostly in like fall and winter months, but yeah. then even then it's not every Sunday, obviously, because like there are holidays in that time and, you know, whatnot. Ah, uh, Cell Zero, I hear it. I mean, the Resident Evil 2 remake, we, we did not play it on the on the difficulty. Oh, yeah, uh, no. So on a high difficulty, and if we had, I mean, we would, have run, we would have ran out of ammo. Like, I think we already did run out of ammo for most of it. Ooh, Nightlight's, Nightlight's teasing teasing us right now. We're actually going to be nice. watching Castlevania tonight um, for for more episodes, so that was that was a tease. <laughs> I'm excited to dive back into it. Hi, VX Rail. Hello, hello. Not the not have Nemesis in the title feels wrong. Yes, 
Yeah. Nemesis is a pretty big part of it. Let's uh, <clears throat> let's go over rules. All right. Uh, Nightlight's here, so Nightlight will also kindly put the written rules into the chat for everybody because I tend to talk fast. But here we go. Rule number one of our channel. Don't be a dick. We've shortened this to D-bad, so if somebody says D-bad to you, they might be checking you, which means you should probably check your own behavior. Um, basically, don't be a dick means respect each other, respect the mods, respect us. We're all here to have fun, so don't spoil it for everyone by being a douchebag. Um, rule number two, please no backseat gaming. Ken and I are casual gamers. We are not expert gamers. If you are looking for expert playthrough on the hardest difficulty, you are probably in the wrong channel. <laughs> um, it will be a little painful. We're going to struggle but we promise to ask for help before it gets unbearable. Um, backseat gaming can inadvertently lead to spoilers and that kind of spoils the fun for everybody. It also can be seen as dictating our gameplay to us, which again, is not as much fun as watching us kind of struggle. Um, rule number three, please no spoilers. This kind of is a, is a build on rule number two. For any games, TV shows, or movies that are out right now, we are a reaction channel. Can I have a huge list of things to react to for you all? And we're looking forward to it, but if you spoil it for us, we can't react authentically, which means we just won't do it. Um, so that spoils the fun. Don't do that. And rule number four, every time I say it, it seems more important and bigger and bigger. Um, there's a shit ton of stuff going on in the world right now. I'm gonna swear, because that's entirely appropriate for the state of the world right now, and I swear anyway. Um, you should be passionate about it. You should be informed about it. You should exercise all of your rights. It's your future as much as anyone else's, so you should participate. But for right now, we are all looking to escape all of that. So please, no politics, no religion, nothing controversial. Check it all at the door. Just come here and spend some time with us and have some fun, because that's what we're all here to do. Which brings us back to rule number one, and don't be a dick. There Good we job, go. <laughs> oh, Anthony, that is so kind and generous of you. Both you and Ken are expert gamers by default, though. I, I, I would love to believe that, because that's so kind of you. But I think we got a, we got a long way to go. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Uh, Rick, we have not... Well, well, okay, so no, as a general thing, but we actually have done a Dead by Daylight stream, I think once or twice. It happened by accident, when the game that we were supposed to play did not... Um, actually properly load. And so we wound up doing some Dead by Daylight, which was really fun. And we might do it some more in the future, but we haven't done like a consistent Dead by Daylight stream. <laughs> Nightwalker says that Amy could use some improvement. Yes, always. Just just a little bit. VX Rail, tell your COD friends that we say hello. Um. Do our rule number five. If you donate a hundred thousand dollars, Ken will do hard mode. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think it was only ten thousand dollars that that Blue said she was gonna. I know. She was well, gonna we'll, donate. I mean, we're up in it now. Apparently. <clears throat> Who do you like better, Scorpion or Sub Zero? Uh, I think Scorpion. That's where my mind goes. I mean, particularly after Mortal Kombat one, but in general, I tend to go for the hot heads and the revenge stories. So. That kind of fits with Scorpion. Oh, Fitz, what kind of dog? That's so exciting. Should check out Bully. It's a game from Rockstar, and it's awesome. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Thanks, Alpha Ghost. I've, I haven't even heard of that, so we, we will check that out. Oh, shit. Ow, you Ooh. got a long reach, bro. Oh. Oh, it's gonna oh my suck God. my head off! Oh, I haven't seen ones like that before in Resident Evil. That was terribly disturbing. Let's try for headshots. <laughs> oh my God. That's awesome. <laughs> Phoebe, you're back. And I'm glad your keyboard still works. I don't, I don't know what made you disappear, but I'm glad things are functional. All right. Here you go. Okay. Okay, this kind of feels like... Dinner. This feels oh, like... Oh, yeah, that thing. The last of us now. Like, coming into this house. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh. 
shotgun. Shit, he does have a long reach. What the fuck? Man. Holy hell. Okay, I didn't leave you much health. So you probably want to heal up. No, you're still only at caution. Yeah. But. Um, I've been told not to use the red and green unless I'm at red. I'm mm -hmm. not at red. <clears throat> Doesn't this feel like Last of Us? Can I go up the stairs? I can't. Because it's a house and there's zombies? Yeah. <laughs> but it also looks like the kind of house that would be in the game Last of Us. Like, I don't know. If I was in the zombie apocalypse, I would not get any weapons. because I'd be dead. <laughs> but, I mean, probably like, you'd want, like a machine gun. Depends on what zombies they are. Dear editor, I'm writing to you because I am troubled. Deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promen Promenade? Yeah is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. And there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. Ah. If the statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers. Take the uh, death I see trap what you did, down. Did there? Good job. Yeah. Um, although, can we just talk about what a weird name it is to be Toy Uncle for a toy store? That just feels freaky. Who do you like more, Omni Man or Homelander? Homelander. Uh, I'll, I'll take I'll take Omni Man. I mean, I we mean, haven't played them in Mortal Kombat yet, so this is not based on Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I mean, but really, it's probably Homelander. I mean, they're, they're both. Mm -hmm. Terrible people. Mm -hmm. Omni-Man, I guess, is just a little bit worse. <laughs> I mean, Homelander, to me, is damaged. And yeah, not that true. that justifies what he does, but it somehow does make it slightly more palatable, whereas Omni-Man is like... Well, he's an alien, and so he's just... A psychopath who's but, savoring it. But he's just trying to do, you know, what's good for his people, what, he's, what's, what the mission is. Yeah, no. And our extinction and enslavement is what's good for him. <clears throat> oh shit. Oh my god. Nope, Nemesis is you. Ah. He scares me too much. Holy shit. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Really? could learn a thing or two from Jill Valentine. Seriously. Jill, you okay? Carlos, that monster's on my ass again. Are you shitting me? I thought you killed it. Yeah, so did I. Me too. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Dwarf of Doom says that Omni-Man, the creator of Omni-Man was a Superman hater. Okay, well that makes perfect sense. That definitely shows up as a character. That's all that happened to her? She got blown back a little bit? She had a little scratch on her shoulder. Yeah. She's not missing like half her face. Blue Bucky is in his little dog bed at my feet with a little blanket. I, I will add a photo on Discord after this so you can see. So I'm taking a photo right now. Boom. You will see that later on Discord. But he's asleep right now. <clears throat> Jill is blast resistant. <laughs> I guess so. Um, Rick, right now... Wait, didn't I already fight this guy on a roof? Am I, am I going to the same spot? He really likes fighting you on roofs. Um, Claire, number one spot. Jill, number two spot. And lead him right to you? Chris Redfield, number three. Leon, number four. Okay. The tank top gives her blast resistance. <laughs> Alright, this I can delete. Awesome. It. 
I mean, that, like, Jill's climbing for me. Remember, I came in with, with very strong loyalty for Claire. So, like, it's true. She's a Jill has to, to like, gain that ground. Um, so she's not going to get it right away. But she's climbing. Oh, no. Jim's Crabs is my favorite place. Oh, sad times. Yeah. Okay, so I am back, like, at square um, one. Mods, can somebody help sell Zero out with the Discord, please? Um... Alan, how much is a $2 bill worth? I hate to have one in my wallet. But like, good luck, but I don't know if I still do or not. Pretty sure it's worth $2. Well, Alan is saying $2 bill is worth a lot. I just died by a freaking thing rolling on top of me, a big head rolling on top of me. It was the head of the little things that I keep shooting. Yeah. You can't, you can't duck underneath those things. Okay, well, good to know. If you get hit by rolling objects, you will be killed. <laughs> Thank you for that. Hey, Zeph is here. Zeph, happy Sunday. This is teaching me life lessons. I did not know that. That's amazing. Um, Fitz, if I could be a Mortal Kombat girl, who would I be? I mean... Is so that our first death? I think that was, or Yeah, I think it might be. I think it's our first death. Death by giant who, head. Okay. <laughs> Whoever bit that, bet, that prop bet is going to win a lot of money. Our first... <laughs> Death would have been by the rolling head. Yeah. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Um, and now I lost my train of thought because I'm distracted by the rolling head. Okay. Oh, Mortal Kombat character. Uh, Sony Go. Blade Go. is sort of like Go. the obvious choice because she's Go. who I would play Go. with on the arcade games when I was a kid, and it was like. Um, I don't know. She was just, she was a she was a badass, and I really liked her. I still do. Um, I also really like Katana. Like, so if I was gonna be a Mortal Kombat oh, character shit. and kind of like have their life, it would be between those two, probably. Okay, where am I going? Padlock door. Oh, Zach, I Xbox hope you had a good spot. shift at work. Nope. This. And Blue, I'm, I'm sorry he ate your chocolate, but in all fairness, if, if I had known you had chocolate, I would have eaten it. Ow! So. Sorry. Okay, now I can use this. Ah, oh, thanks, Rick. <laughs> oh, shit! That's not fair! You're a dick. Hey, Jack. Carlos! Happy Sunday. My love. Oh, man. Way to wait for me, Carlos. Yeah, Carlos, you want to, like, I don't know, help? Do something? Drop a building on this guy? Anything? I know, right? There you go. All right. That's something. You okay? I am now. Go. Go! There you go, Carlos. I mean, Alan, I do like to play as Sindel. I'm not gonna lie. She's fun. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Blue, yes, we've established Jill is immune to everything. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start. We killed Nemesis again. Thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Okay, Doing thanks. good, Black Darkness. Hope you are as well. What matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah. Now you'll be safe. With me, you'll always be safe. What about you? Uh, from the sound of it, I won't Damn, be Duarte. catching the train. 70 degrees? Why November? Not? No, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. So far, the first Spider-Man game is my favorite. I'm <clears> playing <throat> through Spider-Man 2 right now. Um, the first Marvel Spider-Man game in PlayStation 4 or whatever. Um, we're still playing through uh, Spider-Man 2 right now. So we'll see if that if it tops it. Duart, where are you that it's 70 degrees Good in work. November? Your reputation we don't even have that here well in California. Deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. All of a sudden, now you have... Carlos, Tyler, oh, this guy. you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. Who? 
This isn't the Nathaniel last man out of town, right? Do not worry. <laughs> Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. But I'm not going to die on you and leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay, so that you definitely okay. are. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. I mean, that's like in a horror movie saying, I'll be right back. You see, mm -hmm. you're learning. This guy's Any a dick. That's that is your own. They kind of all are, but, except for Carlos. Yeah. Well, th this guy's just a prickly let's one. Let's go. He's just a prickly bear. See you, T-Fits. Oh, Duarte, you're in Brazil. Okay. Got it. Yeah, I, that to me so makes sense really now why it's wrong. You don't really think like Bart is still alive, do you? I have a done good authority. Oh, bye, Fitz. Have fun with your dog. Bye. Oh, in Brazil. Are you Duarte worried is. about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> She's back. Oh, is this fucker not dead yet? She doesn't know. <laughs> what she gonna do? Run out and punch him? I don't know, but I like her for that. <laughs> Smart, no. But definitely oh, appropriate. Oh. Oh. Frick. Yeah, he's gonna die. Oh! Get off my train. Shit's burned up. Way to go, buddy. No ticket. Oh, it's been a while. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date. No, nah, she's not like that. Hell, no, she's not like anybody. <laughs> <laughs> He's smitten. Oh, yeah, he is. All right. You know, Black Darkness? You need to play as Carlos. We keep saying this that. This is the police station. What? And yeah. Sure? <laughs> it looks like a cemetery. Oh, well, no, this is dead now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Brad, stop! T. Come on, man. Not you too. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <gasps> oh my God! What? Oh! Oh! Guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because this happens at the same time as uh, Resident Evil 2. Yeah. Shit, but it's locked. That would definitely screw with me too. The zombie started talking to me. Mm -hmm. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. Come get some. Nice. An unfortunate end. Oh. Yeah, give me the, I know, I'm trying to get the ID card. Uh, Darker Nemesis, the live stream, the part one of this was not removed. Um, I think I just forgot to make it public because it usually goes like automatically unlisted after we uh, live stream and then, but it's always in the playlist. But yeah, I gotta remember to make that public after this. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. I guess they didn't tell you everything. Carlos, take a look mm. at this. I've Here located you. the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. 
You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. Thanks for the heads up. Ah, uh, put more reason why I told Leon friend or not, you do not hesitate. Mm. So what's been your favorite game this year? Uncharted 4. Yeah. Oh, Jack, sorry you got sick this week. Oh, no, that sucks. Everybody's getting sick. There's so much, like, stuff going around. Mm-hmm. I hopefully had my winter sickness a couple of weeks ago. Although, thankfully, you weren't terribly sick, all no. things considered. It was just, like, a couple days, and it was, like, weird. It was, like, for, like, three or four hours during the day. I would just feel... Really tired and worn down and slight fever. Okay, so res this takes place, I guess, the day before Resident Evil 2. Now here's a weird fucking door. Leave it. <laughs> I love Carlos. Yes. Now here's a weird fucking door. Okay, because it's downstairs you gotta go. Yep. Which I kind of figured that was the case, but I wanted to make sure. I was like, is there stuff up here? But no. Nothing that we did with Leon or Claire is what we're going to be doing on this. Oh, only a half an hour before Resident Evil 2. I was going to say, like, that guy lasted a long time. Yeah, no, if, yeah. Uh... All right. Have I picked up everything through here that I can? Yep. Work on the cardio. Okay, so oh, the ID card maybe. Let's try it. Oh yeah. Boom. Case opened. Oh well, I think we figured out the protocols because we just used it. <laughs> but thank you. In case we didn't realize what we were supposed to do, I appreciate that. Come on, you know what it is, Carlos. Hey, John. Doing well. Hope you are as well. Lots of wells. Hi, John. I love the hand-waving emoji. Thanks, Jack. We are doing well. <gasps> Thanks for dropping the link for uh, part one, Jason. Oh, my God. No, I think I remember seeing that guy in our walkthrough when we did two. I mean, oh. Right now, it just happened to him, so he's still twitching. But. Oh. Yeah, that was horrible. Oh no, Nightlife! <laughs> now they didn't kill Brad, and uh... So he had to reload his whole save. Oh no! Jacob, the next uh, Mortal Kombat 1 reaction is going to be all the Let fatal go. blows. Um, and then we should also check out some stuff from Omni-Man, like his fatality, and um, the Halloween fatality. And Omni Man's tower ending as well. So it's all in the same vid. There you go. PD, welcome. Oh, yeah, we have to check out the Thanksgiving fatality. I'm gonna have a Christmas fatality. Oh, nice. Yeah. Muffin! Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Glad you made it. Hey, Muffin, how's it going? And John, same thing. Don't worry about being late. 
There is no late. Locker room cap. T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty? All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch the six. Right. Can't go that way. I must have missed something in here, then. Not necessarily. Well, let's check, though. I'm really because he says like, there's something really nasty in there, and the guy's checking the cameras, which makes me think that, like, we're supposed to work our way through there. I'm not seeing anything. Can't go through the door yet. Oh, now I can. I was about to say, I was like, I thought that's just a, a lock you can like turn, but like. <laughs> yeah, but before. I know you, it, you right? did it. Or you did it. Nothing happened. I know. And it even had like the no go. Yeah. Like, look. The no go. Oh shit. Nope, nope, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, oh double fee oh. session. This is not gonna go well. Where's my shotgun? Oh, I don't have a shotgun. That's why. Yeah, because you're not chill. Ah, okay. Machine gun. Looks like they can't get in. Yeah, Cappy. Uh, Sunday scare day. <laughs> Finishing up our... Uh, our we'll see if we finish it up today. We started this on Friday. Welcome, Leon. So many of them. We should use that grenade. Stay down. <laughs> For extra measure. Oh, what would you get? Nightlight says you better equip that. I got this thing. Okay. Which I was going to combine. But then everybody started attacking me, which was just <laughs> screwed up. Do I have a chance to, to put my scope on my gun? All right. Now, before I go up any more doors, did I get everything in here? I don't think you got in the, uh, went in the office. I know. I gotta go in there. I don't for the life of me remember what the combination was. That was Resident Evil 2. How am I supposed to remember that? 32, 17, 9. If you actually remembered that, I would be so impressed. Yeah, but I didn't. And maybe slightly concerned <laughs> as to how you retain that information. <laughs> Like, I don't remember what I had for lunch yesterday. How do you remember this combination? Rodney Gray, unemployed, unlawful creation, and or possession of explosives. 
Suspect was, uh, was seen behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a timed detonator from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's, uh, suspect's, blah, suspect's home, yeah. I can talk, found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when question uh, when questioning began, and at one point, questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once Take a shot of Tim Suspect happens. <laughs> was That's resumed, sad. suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me. I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpses attack from the shadows. Doesn't sound too crazy. A storm's coming, but it's um, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Oh, okay. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and a sedative administered. Note. Due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspect's person and residence appeared to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. But don't we, like, get that battery later with Leon, so... And blow it up. So so we shouldn't be taking that battery right now. Well, I don't know. I mean, screw Leon now. Who cares about him? So you're saying... In, oh, look at all the blood. Yeah. So you're saying in the Leon versus Carlos... I mean, that makes aim real easy. Definitely Ooh. taking Carlos. Yeah. Kind of fucked yeah. up shooting cops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Ooh, is this is this one of our rooms? It is. Look at that. September twenty second, nineteen ninety eight. Office supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistant three number combination safe moved from Star's office to F to West office one F. Okay. The combo is left nine, right fifteen, left seven. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. Nine fifteen seven. Okay. Well, if cameras kill those things, I'd be set. That was, so, that was it. That's all you Everything in me. Resident Evil 2, Carlos just mocks. <laughs> this is a great fucking door. <laughs> Why would I want film? What the hell? What the hell am I going to do with this shit? <laughs> I don't think I want to put anything away yet. Uh, we can combine. But that's not putting stuff away. Oh, hang on, go back to the, the little note. I forgot it already. Was it 9.15.7? Yes. Okay. Ooh, stuff. Okay, you can put that away. Because you know there's gonna be something in the safe that you want, so. Hopefully a hip pouch. That would make me happy if it was a hip pouch. That'd be awesome. All right. Yeah, the film shit was kind of useless. A lot of times, like, we'd get it, and it would already show stuff that we'd already done. Oh, back there. To the, the door? Nope, behind you. I get so lost in this place. One to your right. I know, I just like to make sure nobody's alive. You said you get lost, so I was just trying to help. No, nope. that's left right. nine. Yep. Okay. Go to zero. Zero. Just, okay. I don't think it's gonna be I think it's being wrong. Just back out. Okay. Now. Left first, right? Didn't you just go right? Oh. 
All right. Then write 15. Oh. I did that intentionally because I went to eight. Okay. Nine. 15. And then seven. Nice. Okay. Good job. Yes. There we go. Hip, Hip pouch. pouch. That's what we need it. Okay. Boom. Okay. Carlos would be a good Shit. costume for next year. Locked. If I could only pull off that hair. You have to grow your hair out, and we'd have to do a lot of gel. <laughs> we can do that. Gel is very possible. All right, so now where am I going? I think we can go back up upstairs, I think. Not back upstairs, but we can go upstairs. Maybe. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's true, Carlos, baby. The star's office is up ahead. Copy that. Note to a friend. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. While you were out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realized that explosives might be our last, our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during intake last week. Do you know all this? We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down. So I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit okay, room key. That's it. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out why you must not open the locker. Please don't <laughs> worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy, Wes. P.S. Don't worry about that $600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. So now we're going to open the locker and kill that guy. Oh, thanks, John. Happy uh, Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas to you as well. Um, we have a request for you to say happy birthday to Jasmine. Happy birthday, Jasmine. Uh, at Muffin Feet Picks. <laughs> That's how it is. You got a mod, yes. Cap. There we go. <laughs> Jason, we all did it. What, everybody sent feet pics? Nightlight, is that confirmed? Um, that, uh... Pedro Pascal is, um, indeed gonna be Reed Richards? I heard it was in talks, but not confirmed yet. Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the exploding way. We need um, a battery for that thing, right? Okay, so that's how we put the. I don't know. Can we just the like, the shoot it? It's C4. Go for it. No. Okay. Well, if that was real C4, shooting it would have done something. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Oh, for fuck's sake! Why is it blocked? To make your life difficult, guys. I'm a muffin and I don't have feet. <laughs> Ooh, key. Put in those cool fucking doors. Yeah, this one was different. I can't remember what it was. I don't remember either, mister. Is there no? There's no room up there. Oh, oh sh shit, baskets. Oh. Nice. The scope on this is really cool. 
Okay. Nightlight has requested that we go to uh, the office and look at the Welcome Leon sign. Going to the office. <laughs> oh shit! There you are, dick face. <laughs> Wait, where? Where is it? I don't know if we actually, if that's what he wanted to do, or if he just wanted us to see this thing and call it dick face. Okay. That's but, right. um, hang on. Back up. Because his welcome desk is and then, here. Uh, welcome, Leon. Aw. That's sweet. Okay. Let's try and go out this way, maybe? But I think there's a way to, like... I don't know. Can you get out that door? No, I cannot. Crap baskets. So what's the key? Did you check to see what the key does? That you have? No, but we were looking for somebody with a key, weren't we? Yeah, but you picked up a key. Right, so I, I'm just assuming it's that key that... But do we know what it's used for, is what I'm saying? To get the battery pack, right? Yeah, but where do we go? What uh, door? I don't remember. <laughs> The key will tell us. <laughs> Where is this thing? All right, I will. I will examine the key for you. Unlocks the door to the safety deposit room. Okay. Do you know where that is? Oh, I have to check. You have to check the map. It's a pretty key. It is a pretty key. Safety deposit room. There you go. Oh, DCM. DCM. I thought, oh, okay. Okay. <sighs> oh, shit. Sorry, Glenn. <gasps> What stats does that Keyblade have? Nice. So what are the other ones? 109? 106? Six. One oh four. <coughs> Ooh, so if you were a cop in a zombie apocalypse, would you consider letting the inmates out? I'll come back to that question momentarily. Hang on. You can de uh, destroy the, um, or discard the uh, key. And then we get the battery. Does it really do much for me? Mine now. And you can, now we got enough for the seat to blow up the C4. Nothing here. Okay. Yep. Just making sure. Nothing here. Ooh, herb. Green herb. Inventory is full. Okay. Hang on a second here. Fudge. Put the battery into the thing. Electronic gadget. You're a genius, but thanks, beautiful. Ooh. It's 
it's out there. I was about to say, don't use your puny little gun against this thing, against a liquor. Remember, they're attracted to sound. He's and they're blind. There. Pretty sure he's right over there. It's alright, you got herbs. He's dead! Bonds make sure. <laughs> right in the scrotum head. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nope, not this way. Oh shit. Okay, sorry. Question about the zombie apocalypse. If I were a cop, would I let the inmates out? The answer is yes, but as... Well, hang on, but... What? As a not stupid female, uh, the idea of letting out a bunch of inmates, especially if it's a, like, if it was a male detention center, feels really stupid if I'm a female. So, um... I think what I would do is try to arrange like a timed like door opening or you know something to that extent. I don't know. But I wouldn't just go by one by one and individually unlock the doors because I feel like as a cop I might not make it through all of them. They would not like me. Uh, I don't know to, to, to double tap. What about double tapping? Zeph was at saying that uh it's a key roll. Oh. And then uh, Cappy agreed, said the first rule of Resident Evil is nothing stays dead. So they're all defending you because of the fact that you shot it again. Thank you, everyone. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Copy that. Big surprise. Everybody takes Bethany's side. So now I'm going to blow up a door. I think you blow up a wall. Or a wall. But now you're making it a door. Sure. And now it's a door. <laughs> Yeah, there's someone else back there. I saw you. Mm hmm Trying to hide in the steam. Ooh. There's a bunch of them. Ooh. Sorry, your practice. Or, oh. I think I tripped over water. There's something behind me that I yeah. I think you can go back there. Oh, because of steam. You can't go back because of the steam. One at a time, take a number. <laughs> Carlos is the best 90s action hero ever. Oh! I love this guy. Oh shit, I didn't do the that one locker. I should have done. Oh, uh, well. Now we're through. This asshole again. This asshole again. Dick face. Look, just let me reload, okay? Yeah, that's not fair, all right? Oh, kind of makes you feel bad when he squirms after you kill him. <laughs> Phoebe, there's only one way to hit a huge cluster group. Yeah, well, 
Bethany likes to shoot. She doesn't use grenades. That's true. The grenade would have been the smarter thing to do. I acknowledge that. Hey, Professor T. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday! Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Did you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. Yeah, we know, dude. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send... Send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Wow, you're really making me want to rescue you. Yeah. I like him already. Yeah, you were. And normally that would be an insult to somebody else, but... You heard what he said. Carlos with his dick in his hand is just, like, company. overpowered. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer to see if I can trace the doc's location. I don't know who this guy is, because he, like, just joined the party. <laughs> yeah. Uh, during Thanks, this random guy. This installment. This will take some time. But Look around, I mean, see if you can find I like anything them. useful. Oh, but looking for useful stuff. More assault rifle ammo is exactly what we need. I appreciate that they gave me that, but I don't want to use it right now. Red herb. Oh, Blue, uh, thanks for asking. Spider-Man 2 is going great. Um, just posted some more of our uh, Let's Play today, and yeah, really loving it. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arkley Mountains. On July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arkley Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha Team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being uh, carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the, the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation uh, has proven to be extremely difficult. Is that Jill in the front row? Hmm. Ready to go, Jill. Can I, like, it's turn just... you around or anything? Like, is there any reason why? No, it's just, you know. Okay. He just wants to see a picture of Jill. Yeah, but the, like, this X was still there, so I was like, oh, is there okay. something more to this than what I've been looking at? I think there's something back on the desk. Flash grenade. All right, dude, have you made any progress yet? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Can you knock on the back locker? Yeah, what's up? Oh, we need that key, right? The dongle? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in. T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. Okay. The Carlos Express. Nice. <laughs> you missed some stuff, apparently. Oh, sad times. I hope it wasn't anything good. I hope it wasn't a hit patch or I'm gonna be really sad. Am I the only one who made it? No. Well, I mean, are we really worried about the dude with the silver, like, Backstreet Boy hair? Because I'm not.
Not saying I wish him death, but like mm -hmm. if he died in the crash, okay. Now that guy got away. We're gonna see him later. We're gonna get Carlos? a chance to kill him. Come in. Carlos? I can't pick up that. Why can't I pick that up? Because you're talking to Carlos right now. Give me stuff. Let me pick stuff up. Good news, limp dicks. <laughs> I've got some new weaponry for you that's uh, guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies are developed by Umbrella's military R&D, and they will light your fires even hotter than the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them into anything else. Fire them at walls or the ground and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within That's range. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So basically, just toss them in an enemy's path and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Yeah. Okay. It's alright, there's a chest right there. Hang on. I can discard you. I'm gonna pick you up. Do I still need this lock pick right now? I mean, I don't know. You said. I told you to get rid of it one time and then you got mad at me when we needed it again. I did. This is true. So. These are facts. Explosive rounds. Well, if you don't have the grenade launcher, then we don't need the all that ammo. I have a feeling they're telling me I'm gonna need the grenade launcher, don't you think? Okay. You just don't have a lot of room for stuff. Store. Okay, well then might as well, yeah. If you don't want the shotgun, you want the grenade launcher, go with the grenade launcher. You probably only need one of those healths, as far as like the first aid and the red and green. There you go. I got a lot of stuff. I have a feeling there's gonna be like a boss battle, so that's why I'm like, okay. Ah, okay. Gotta get a grenade launcher. Uh, Asmara, good morning to the other side of the world. Christian Dino, what's up? Smara, that's a pretty Nightlight's name. back. I didn't know you left, but welcome back. Welcome back, Nightlight. Nightlight got so frustrated that I missed all the stuff. He's like, I'm out. <laughs> and Nightlight has chicken. Ooh, nice. What kind of chicken? There's a whole world of possibility when it comes to mm -hmm. chicken. You are the <laughs> fastest one. We are the three amigos. Black Darkness says that you had uh, your gaming senses were tingling about the boss fight coming. <laughs> I got gaming senses? Oh, I feel so cool now. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, we saw you before. Weren't you at the police station? Yeah, whoever they did like an AI generated duplicate of, they like to use him a lot. Yeah. Cause he, it's like every fifth zombie is that mm -hmm. guy. Agreed. Is that? I think it's uh. Escape the creature. Okay, but still where's, nemesis. Where is the creature? I'm I'm like I'm happy to try and escape, but I would like to know where he is. Ooh, herbs and spices.
Alright, he's already in my thing. Okay. Ooh, they're loading you up. Yep. I felt bad for him being on fire. Swim. No. Bitch can't even swim! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Carlo Jill Valentine might be my favorite now. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't make it. Man, Carlos had some great lines, but Jill just topped them all. Yeah. Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's Bitch can't even Meanwhile, swim. <laughs> Nikolai left us to die. Jill, pay, Wait, pay attention. Jill. Yeah. What the He's not swimming, but he's walking underwater. Yeah, oh! No need to swim, you can just, yeah. Walk in the bottom, fucking. No oh, shit. Good, that'll stop him. Nothing else has worked, but that. That's the one thing that'll kill him. For a boss battle! Boss battle! Oof. Light him up. Look at all his mine rounds. Remember, he's shooting like wherever he's going. Jesus, this guy's tough. That was right in your dick. I had to have an impact. Pulling that Okay. And I think you're out. Should I take those extra? It's okay. Extra rounds. How do you dodge again? Because I'm not going to uh, dodge. R1. Again. Ooh. Okay. okay. Oh, that's when we should have had the mine rounds for. He's doing his little, his little act right there. Bring around the Rosie. Okay, is this just what you want to do all these He's just getting his energy out. You got the zoomies. You got the zoomies. Shit. The nemesis zoomies. Remind me, how did you say you dodge again? R1. There is a crate. Or a bear. Uh, yeah. Oh! Oh, God, did. Jill's dead. No. Nothing can kill her. She might want to heal. Ooh, I think that's some. Yeah, flame rounds. Go get the other crate while he's got the zoomies. Where's the other crate? On the other side. Oof. 
you are dead. Yes. You're better at boss fights than I am. We had it. I think you should, you should get to heal in boss fights. Ran into him. I dodged into him. Shoot him in the butt. Ah! Ow. Combine your uh, red and green herbs too. Bad breath, or the frequency was worse. In my book, it's his bad breath. Now it looks like the trunk or the uh, crates are still there. So if you are looking for, Either, but now she's going down. Yeah, that thing that popped out of my head, that's what she's going for. the little thing that's popping out of him, like the little alien, alien baby. Hey, Colin! Seems like everybody's doing laundry and, like, putting away clothes and things today. That came up earlier in the chat. Yeah. supposed to shoot. But I don't have a shotgun. So maybe don't pick those up right now? When you select the thing, you want it to just recharge? Or leave, whatever. Yeah, mine rounds, there you go.
Oh no. Dude. He's learned. That blow up already. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know how it did. Maybe he's learning. He's not that shit. Just a big dumb animal, aren't you? I'm not learning either. Oh, there we go. Told you it was working. Why did you time? <sighs> yeah, it's just so tough in these in Resident Evil because they don't have like a health bar or anything. I'm like, is he even doing anything, this guy? Bye, Colin. Thomas, Have a good weekend. You still there? Your rest of your weekend, at least. Come on, you got to crap out on me now? God damn it! Ghosting you. It's tough. I have a ton of health, so I'm just gonna use this. I know. I know. I know. There you go. I did that wrong way. I should have combined that, and then I should have taken the green herb. That was bad resource management. I'm sorry. They're never dead. Yep. You suck. A souvenir or not no chill oh i hate this guy mm -hmm. interesting you've done me a big favor please I'm gonna shoot you in the face. In the dick first. Yeah. I don't feel so good. Yeah, no shit. Rough half a day later. Jill! I think so. Hey, answer me. Uh -oh. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. Oh, okay. Thanks, Cappy. Hmm. Uh, around this time is when Leon and Claire arrive. Okay. I got you. Piggyback ride. Whee! Oh, I thought I was going to like, piggyback ride her throughout the city. Like, dodge zombies. <laughs> Fight it, Jill. I'm going to get you the vaccine. You're going to be okay. Nice spearhead, thank you so much for the super chat and for stopping by. Uh, hopefully work is going well, not too painful of a shift. Thanks, Night Spearhead.
Bard now. Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty. I'm on my way. Stay frosty? I'll go on ahead. Sure. Wait, there's somebody to the left. Do we have any people in the military in the chat? Like, is that actually an expression? Because it just, to me, sounds so bizarre, stay frosty. But I'm curious if there's actually, like, a, a legitimate reference point for that. Muffin, if I had to pick, I'd get rid of Kirby because I love Yoshi. I grew up, up, I grew up with Yoshi. Like I just, yeah, I gotta, I gotta save Yoshi. Ah, thank you, Zeph. Hmm. Okay, now it makes sense. Stay frosty means stay aware, since when you're cold, your body is much more awake and responsive. Okay. That makes it's okay. Sense. I don't know. I just I hear frosty, and I think of, like, Wendy's Frosties. So I was like, the same thing, too. I was like... <laughs> to me, it was just so weird. And what do we need? A lockpick. <laughs> but we don't have it, because Jill has a lockpick. So what do I need to go do? Like. Oh, that's true. Wouldn't it be great if they could share resources? Yeah. There's something outside. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a lockpick. Maybe. Frosty the snowman is very aware. <laughs> I don't think I can. Can I go outside? There's no like way. The way is blocked. Doesn't he look pretty? <laughs> Down for the count. H two O, what's Welcome up? To the office of How's it going? Please state your business clearly into the intercom. To kill zombies. Yeah. My name's Carlos. I'm here to fuck shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium, so we have to put them in straitjackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. But what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys moving a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why, where, what's going on? <sighs> and then Becky told me. <laughs> Oh, okay, door. Yeah, that's another interpretation. Um, stay frosty would mean keep your cool in a stressful situation. Okay. All right, so we need an audio tape. And no, nothing's in that bag. The game is good. It's really fun. Oh, shit. Sunrise, welcome. And uh, yeah, so excited that you could join us for a live stream. Uh oh. <laughs> Big fat boy. Blocked my grenade from going farther. You're supposed to die in that too. How dare you not die? You get a bullet. I don't have a key card. I think we oh, shit. oh, hello. Hi. <gasps> He restored the key card. I don't know if it would have been the right one for here anyway, though. No, we destroyed. Yeah, that would not have been the right one. It had a trash. Uh, oh, was that a discard? Sign on it, yeah. Okay. 
Look, I want to get in just as much as you want to get out. You're just going to have to wait. Vivi. <laughs> okay, Vivi, you report back on that article for us. What? I was about to Google what Stay Frosty's origins were, but Google recommended a news article about an archaeological find of a stone slab with a giant penis carved into it. So I'm reading <laughs> that now instead. Nice. Natalie, both dogs are doing well. Um, Bucky is asleep in a dog bed at our feet. And Foxy, she was asleep in her dog bed over there. I think she's now on the couch behind us. Just die, die. Oh my god. How many times were you sliced and diced? And shot. And you're still coming back. I'm gonna kill you with this knife. <laughs> you are really determined, aren't you? Fuck you. Black Darkness. Dude, this guy keeps coming! Black Darkness, our dogs aren't uh, too old. We lost our our dogs last year, Abby and Zoe. They were 18 and 19. Um, so for our current dogs, they are, uh, Bucky's under a year and Foxy was adopted at six years old. So she'll be seven next year. Oh, Jason, we didn't remove the couch. The couch is behind the backdrop. So, um, that was mostly in part, uh, like a distance thing in our house more than anything. <laughs> okay, maybe I will check out the, the Discord after the live stream. Uh, admitted over 20 mystery illness patients, patients in isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. Uh, possible infection, tired, uh, tried every antiseptic, still no blood work back from the research wing, ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Mm. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. Oh, no. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got to contain this chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Black Darkness. We hope they live good, good long lives as well. Our last two did. So, so they kind of set a standard and an expectation now that Hopefully these will break, or hopefully these two will live up to. And Muffin, yes. Um, I didn't know that about newts, but from like a historical perspective, ribs were a incredibly useful part of the skeleton for tool making. So that does make sense. Newts are obviously very smart. They knew this. Nurse's Journal, September 29th. We tried. I swear to God we did, but there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would end, be the end of us. Oh God. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. I don't think you're going to, dude. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant and all we are left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. No. Oh. She's, she's very poetic. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, Becky. I'm so sorry I failed you. <laughs> Something's coming. Help, M. Uh. Well done to Art and Zeph hmm. on the interpretation. Both of them were correct in the okay. interpretation of Safe Frosty. It is essentially to keep your cool and to stay alert. Memos from administration. Oh, bye, John. Have a good rest of your week. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds or in any circumstance. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Hmm. Until it is recovered, we will keep a separate Bear key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of your shift to borrow it. That's probably what that thing is on the outside that we can't get to. Yep. That would probably be it.
Jason, what line is that from? I swear to God, that's a line in the movie. What? Becky with the fat ass? <laughs> I, I like, I can like no, hear. No, it's from uh, Sir Mixy Lot. Oh my God. Oh my God, Becky, look at that butt. Yeah. She looks like one of those. Rapper chicks. Yeah. Girlfriends. Rapper guys, I should say. Yep. Jack said it's from, from Sir Mix a lot. Baby got back. You in. Safe. No. It's okay, Bucky. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're fine. You're okay. Oh, you're fine. Bucky, you're fine. Be barky. Don't be barky. Say hi to everyone. Say hi. No. That's not saying bark. hi. Don't bark. Hey. I know. A sound woke you up. And you don't handle getting woken up from your sleep very well. I know. I know. You're okay. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof. You're a big dog. Woof, woof. Huh? You're okay. You're okay. Your little sweater's falling off. Yeah, he's got oh, a sweater. Shit. Sorry for the barking, by the way, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, and yes, Black Darkness, Bucky does warn us of danger. Sorry. Shh, Bucky. Shh. Shh. You're okay. You're okay. Hey. Hey, stand down, little soldier. It's fine. We're safe. Everyone's safe. I know. I know. I know. You're fine. It's okay. Oh, bye, Fitz. Have a good rest of your weekend. Tor says the star of the show has arrived. Yes, making a loud and big entrance. Note about a tape recording. I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walk toward the treatment room. Ooh. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You're, uh, you just stay cool and keep doing your job. Stay frosty. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole and will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong, a friend. Okay. Oh, big yawn, little bucker. I know. You don't handle it well when you get woken up, but you're fine. Maybe you were having a bad dream before that or something. Oh, really, Vivi? Vivi says, I don't remember it at all, but apparently I straight up decked my mom in the face when she tried to wake me up once. <laughs> Bears and Oa, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, I'm ever so sorry. There's the key. But hello, and hello to Brazil. Paula, ciao, how's it going? Reese's popcorn is a thing? What? I don't know how I feel about that. I can't call over this. <laughs> I mean, Jason, we probably definitely called him the former at some point or another when he gets very barky. <laughs> and Vivi, I've never been good at waking up either. I like my sleep. But I also like sleep. I know you don't sleep as much. So like, it makes sense why you'd be tired. But like, I get sleep and I still am not good at waking up. All right, 
Nightwalker, try Reese's popcorn and report back. Let us know how it is. Shh. It's just a noise. When it's windy out, there are noises. You gotta chill. throw my alarm clock on my door when someone tries to wake me up. <laughs> and Jack, they never try a second time. So that's effective. Yeah. It's okay. You're fine. You're fine now, little Bucky. Oh, big yawn. Good boy. What the hell was that? What was what? I saw something like run across the hall. Oh shit. <laughs> I know, right? Carlos was like, I don't know, was that like a cow? Was that, what was that? What kind of noise was that? So we have the key. So Vivi, when I was a kid, I uh, went to Claire's and I got one of those like magnetic uh, earrings. And I then met up with my mom somewhere else in the mall with like a magnetic nose piercing in. She did similar to your mom. Like the first thing that she did was rip it out. So like had it been real and not magnetic, her instinct was to inflict really terrible pain. Where the fuck is the locker room? It. Cup chuckles. Yeah, Jason, pretty much that was that was the idea. <laughs> um, Duart Bucky is still young. He's ooh, about like uh seven months, not quite, almost. Um, and he definitely has the biggest bark in the house already. Like, he's got a bigger bark than Foxy has, and Foxy's twice his size. Um, so I, I don't know if he's going to get a louder bark, but already he's pretty much got all the other dogs outclassed between Foxy and then my mom's dogs. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? <laughs> okay. What kind of sci-fi bullshit is Wait. this? <laughs> You have a video, you have a tape recorder, don't you? I don't have the tape, though. That does make it more challenging. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ow. Vivi, that just, ah, that sounds terrible. Hi, Nala. Hi. <laughs> Not sounding great at all. Yeah, Nightwalker, I've stuck 
I stuck to earrings after that incident with the fake nose ring. Um, I have two piercings in each ear, but I stuck to that. I don't think I'd get any more piercings. I have toyed with the idea of a tattoo, but my husband has told me I should not do that. Oh, she gave me a high five. That's awesome. No, I can't even. Okay. Do you know where? Do you know where the lockers are? I'm so fucking lost right now. Oh, I don't because I've been paying attention to the chat. I haven't been looking. Maybe it's. Do we get the uh, key card thingy? No. That's outside. Okay, so somehow we got to get outside. We got this. We got the key that was outside. Oh. So. Well, wait. Then what's that thing over there? See. Oh, okay. So there's something That's outside. Something out there. So I gotta go outside. So I missed something outside. Okay. <sighs> Jason, it's a give and take. It's a give and take on that. Oh, he's lovely. Fitz, the game is good. Yeah, definitely enjoying it. Oh no, Dort, not piercings from head to toe. No, no, no. If I got a tattoo, I know the ink color and where it would go. The design I haven't, I, I'm not final on yet, but I'm probably never gonna get it, so there's no urgency. <laughs> Stumble our way to it. Boom! You got it, butt. Wow, you walked in there without your gun up or anything. You are trusting. Mm hmm And brave. And I got a lot of herbs. <gasps> oh, Rick's hat! Please wear Rick's uh. hat. Oh, come on. Let us wear the hat. Thanks for the flash grenade. Oh, okay. He's gonna get back up. You know he's gonna get back up. <laughs> Hospital ID card. There we go. There we go. What's my favorite type of villain? Um. I think like like a Cersei Lannister type, the type that like can do things that can make me hate her so much and yet also have those moments when I'm inadvertently cheering for her, have moments when I'm amused by her and even kind of understand her, but then also still despise her and want her to get what's coming to her. Like, like I, I like the villains. Whoa. See, this thing. <gasps> Ooh. What? What the hell is it? Oh, it's got like little freaky face things going on. because you got totally disoriented and had no idea where you were. Jesus Christ. Um, I think my favorite kinds of villains are in some ways my favorite kinds of heroes. Like any character that can make me feel a complicated array of emotions is going to be my favorite because those are the ones that make me question like what I think or how I view things or like what I feel about certain things. So, so like those are the ones that I like the best. I don't want it simple. I don't want it like cut and dry. Why can't I open this thing? Uh, what else do I use? Ooh, that's a good answer, KP Games. 
Favorite kind of villains are the ones who have a horrible history and want to make the world a better place, but go about it wrong. And in the end, you feel sorry for them despite the awful things they do. Mm. Yep. Oh, everybody's really impressed that you got that lizard guy. Apparently, he was really tough and made several people die multiple times. Jason says, smart thinking on the flash, flash grenade, because um, I died on that thing ten times. Thanks. I had so many different flash, so many flash grenades. I'm just like, they give me so many of these. There has to be a reason, because like, I hate flash grenades. And then VV, one time we were playing Resident Evil 4, said, use the flash grenade when the little whippy things were there. Ah, and, like, okay. instantly killed them. So I was like, well, maybe it can be specific for this thing. Devin, I'm so glad you caught us for a live stream. And and you may have missed Resident Evil 4, but you have Resident Evil 3, so like, yay, it's still in the same genre. Uh, Black Darkness, I think, I think tragic villains more often fall into the like complicated kind versus like pure evil, which are generally more of the like, I don't know, things are too simple and whatnot. So we're gonna um, make up Jill at one point. I mean. Also, the pure evil ones, like the truly horrific ones, what I feel for them isn't complicated. I, I like, I want them to meet their end. Um, so they don't have quite as much effect on me. They might make me feel as passionately, it's just, it's all one note. It's all passionate about their demise. Ken is a lizard killing pro. Ken <laughs> is pro gamer. Yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah, but he did great. Ooh, Ooh. Oh, he's Not back. Not that time. Oh, oh there's two, two of them. them. Oh, well that's just like cheating. Devin, thank you so much. Watch us since 2021, and this is the first time they were able to catch a live stream. Welcome. They tried to catch uh, Resident Evil 4, but then uh, they were working, and so they kept missing it. Ooh. He's a dick lizard. There you go, bud. Aim for the head. Got it. <laughs> there we go. Black Darkness, yes. Um, do you have a good example in mind? Only because I think, like, when I think pure evil, I think, like, nothing complicated or irredeemable. Just the absolute most sociopathic, psychopathic, kind of awful, unable to empathize with anyone, kind of bad. <laughs> um, but I'm probably not thinking of something that would make them more interesting or, or complicated, so I'm totally open to, to suggestions. Rah, rah, our our goal was to finish it today. Um, we're casual gamers and not expert though, so like things tend to take us longer than normal. Um, but yeah, like if we could finish it all, that would be great. Fair point, Vivi. What? I always find it so dumb when the villain is like, I will destroy the world. It's like, bro, you live in the world. <laughs> There we go. Oh, Green Goblin, yeah. Like, I'm I, I'm kind of thinking, are we thinking like William Defoe Green Goblin? Where he was really enjoying the menace? But he was crazy at that, I mean, like, because the green the serum had made him, like, basically two different people. True. That's a great example, Zeph, the Joker. Pure evil, and yet, like, the humor he employs, so sometimes, like, they get you, they get a response out of you that you wouldn't expect or maybe aren't totally comfortable with either. Uh, so that's a good example.
Um, I mean, Black Darkness between anti-heroes or Goody Two-Shoes, my instinct is towards the anti-heroes. But, like, I do love Captain America. Yeah. In the Marvel movies, so... Like, I, I don't know. I really love him and enjoy him. I also really enjoy Loki. The anti-hero is almost overplayed at this point, though. Yeah. Like... People are no longer an anti-hero when like, every single character that comes out now is an anti-hero. Like, I just don't like that they always make, try to make a villain... Redeemable? Yeah. If they're not a villain, they're an anti-hero. No, yeah. not everyone is an anti-hero. We do need villains. Ooh, more of them. They're gonna break squad. Yep. Um... Oh, Alan, it sounds like you're signing off, so... Time. Stay safe as well. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Nice, it bounced off his head. Oh, this thing. More things for Jill. Do I get a hip pouch? Is that... Ooh, Vivi, I'm curious. Why do you hate Harley Quinn? And, you know, I, I think my curiosity is because, as you mentioned, it's it's an unusual opinion that what you hear from the mainstream, so I'd love to know what led you to it. Like, I'm just curious. Ooh, they're giving you a lot of stuff. Yeah. They stocked me up. They're like, okay, cool. You like using these things? Here you go. A shitload more. Oh, okay, so just specifically don't like the Margot Robbie. Is it because, do you find Margot Robbie's portrayal to be too cute? Joelle, how's it going? All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the biologist <laughs> okay. you'll ever meet, you bed pad changing waste of a nursing degree. It's okay. Of course it's okay. I have connections higher it's up. Okay. Of course the military consults with me on projects you. beyond your okay. comprehension. No. So stop <laughs> wasting my time with your nosy no. questions. I uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. Hey Joel, what's you going on? Read the documents. Did you? Sorry for the barking, guys. No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. Because there's nothing in there. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. This guy's a what treat. They for, right? And polish my shoes. Oh! I bet you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now, fuck off. <laughs> don't say a word to anyone. Oh, I would so not be saying yes, sir, to you. I'd be telling you to fuck off. Oh, wow. Banquet invitation. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police, Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th, the Orient Restaurant. Uh, we'd be honored if you join us. Sincerely, Greg Tester. Uh, Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I let Irons know. Bard. Tyrell, Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. For being a complete I'm ass. Looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? I mean, there is a computer. I see a computer. Email from Nathaniel Bard uh, to Greg Tester. <laughs> Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail. And it's not for my family. Not for my ladies on the side. Oh, this guy's... Oh, my no, God. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. 
because I love you, Greg. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States. But if you want the goods, Greg, you've got to get me the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Uh, lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team in here without UBSC CS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Just like in Cancun, which should be sound pretty chaste after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out. Okay, so he saves his one vaccine for a freaking politician. Nathaniel Bart, September 29. Basically saving it for his own self. So he can... I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small <laughs> of honor to my name. <laughs> no. No. You can't. All over Coon City suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered off. my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep turn samples of this phone. vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. Oh, you're, okay. you're okay, Bucky. You're okay. Bucky. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to. I'm not sorry, he said. I'm not a fool, I'm just a jackass. I got Jill all along. And she trusted me anyway. Fuck! Good boy, Bucky. Is it here? Fuck you, okay. Vaccine sample, yes. All right, Joe. Hang tight. Shh. You're okay, Bucky. You're okay. T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. Uh, Nightlight, yes, but not finished for season two yet. Um, and I saw somebody said that hello from Germany, so if I miss saying hi to you, then hello and hello to Germany. Ah, Gerald, dedication. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so what is, what's over there? And can, you, yeah, can you, how do we get there? I don't know. I think I, when I jumped out, I missed it. I jumped out that window, I missed it. Oh, okay. Goku! Hi! And hello to Sam Bernardino. Uh, oh, Kate, shit. We, we haven't watched the CW shows. Um, we've talked about doing some of them, but uh, now a lot of um, 
what we watch, we kind of go to our Patreon to see like what people are looking for. Um, and that just hasn't come up yet since doing that. Mercy, welcome to your first live stream. Good job, but thanks. Gotta save Joe. Uh, Rick, right now we're playing as Carlos. Come on, this shit um, won't work. And Goku. We have seen Invincible, but only season one, not season two, which I know was released recently. Um, and we've seen season, all the seasons of The Boys that have been released yet. And I think the last time we watched it was last year. So I don't, as far as I know, there hasn't been a season released yet this year. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely huh. destroyed in a missile strike. Oh, All damn. residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. You better grab some gear. All right, well, you Sounds do that. Like I'm going to run. Okay. Stay there, Bucky. Stay there. Do you need that, Bucky? Yeah, I think he does. Okay. Oh, put that away. Ton of healing. I'm just gonna take one out. Oh, I'm already fine. Oh. All right, can't wait for Bethany to come back for you. Uh, continue. Um, see what's going on in the chat. All I saw was VV. I fucking screamed like Hugh Jackman Wolverine. I don't know what the discussion that was that I came in, came in on. Yeah, a lot of green herbs, a lot of healing uh, in this, which, you know, and also we're playing it on assisted, so that, that helps. That's not here, Rick, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, let her, I'll let her know. And she does. She looks. She looks beautiful and gorgeous always. Oh, but the, well. That's, so it's what do people do in pain? So everyone says they scream. Um, I guess first you have to feel pain, and I, you know, I, I just don't. No, I, I swear, I cuss. Um, that's what happens when I, when I feel pain. Duart, yeah, enjoying the game. Um. I can see where I saw some like uh, conversation in the chat that like Nemesis wasn't as good in this one as like the original. Um, and I will say that like Mr. X felt more intimidating and scary and like nerve wracking, like makes your palms sweat when he's chasing you in Resident Evil 2 than Nemesis does in, uh, in this. Um, but Jill Valentine, uh, Carlos is amazing. Carlos and Jill are fantastic protagonists. Uh, they have some great lines in this. And I don't know if like, they're, they're original lines um, or if they like redid some of the dialogue in this and it's, and it's new. I know like some of them are classic lines or whatever. Uh, but the bitch can't even swim was my, my favorite. 
<laughs> oh, you might play on Saturn and give you the same amount of nightlight. Oh, do I moan in pain or scream? Uh... Moan more, I would say, than than scream. Uh, a curse, and then grunting and, and moaning. In hardest difficulties, Nemesis becomes Usain Bolt in running. I believe it. Favorite game world to live in. Oh, jeez. I don't even know. I mean, do I get to be like any character in that game? Or do I just have to live in that world um, as like, a, as, just, as me? That would, that would depend. Um, Cause I mean like, you know, you could say, excuse me, I could say Spider-Man, you know, I'd love to live, like be Spider-Man and like, but the, he's like in our world. So it's not really anything super different. I mean, you know, except for all the superheroes and everything, and supervillains. Oh, oh, the dad when Robert Pattinson died in Harry Potter. Yeah, oh. when he wails like that, that was a scream. I'm sorry about your hear about your knee, Vivi. Talking about yeah, and I like that's a good way to say it. Um, the main problem with Nemesis is that every time he shows up, a cutscene play, give him away his appearance. Mr. X just shows up during the gameplay. Yeah, it makes it a lot more intimidating. Okay. People are asking if you moan or you scream in pain, or what happens when you start to feel pain. How do we do that? I don't know what happens when I tore my. I screamed. You scream. Yeah, I scream. I guess. I mean, it depends on the pain too, probably. Yeah. But. Sounds like uh, this was a tough part for many people. Uh, I said they died three or four times. Oh, I didn't realize that the zombies like explode before they vanish. Right. It's kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Something like off him. Ah! 
Oh! No, no, no! We like got you in the fentanyl artery. Ooh! Damn. Okay. So those guys can just pretty much kill you right away. All right. This is not gonna be easy. I'm gonna Thanks, try to Natalie. Lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Oh, you got this handsome over here, right? Just gotta check it. Okay. Hey! Fucky. Baby said that in that moment, Ken just learned that Bucky will get him bit in a zombie apocalypse. Yep. That's what you're gonna do. I know. Hip pouch, thank you. Thank you, hip pouch. Oh, Rick, thank you. That's so kind of you. No, you grab what you're about to play, and then you can, you can jump his back after he wins. After he wins. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, oh, it's it's like a lie. Oh, that was messy. Oh, bye, Gerald. Have a good week. Damn it. <sighs> you got this, baby. You got it. Ooh, Muffin, have a good day. Hey.
You got this, baby. Talking to his Apple Watch? I think so. Kinda looked like it, right? Yeah, it is. Go, bud. Oh, bye, Black Darkness. Have a great week. Taking your time, dude. Thanks for the super chat. And yes, we are enjoying it. Tough part right now. We are enjoying it.
God. We got this. Oh shit, she just hit that grenade. Pulled out into the explosion. Easier said than done, dude. Slide. Good job, baby. If that was an easy mode, I can't even begin to fathom how impossible that was on the harder levels. You all right? Not even close. <laughs> but at least it's over. Carlos is I'll a straight shooter. Back. Vaccine's a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Yeah. Ballsy motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Terveen, hi. How's it going? <gasps> Happy Sunday. Ooh, just like it started. Jill. Oh, thank God you're okay. I've got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. This is a dream. No, you're gonna live in a Carlos's world. Shoot me, Joe. Might as well shoot yourself. It's the only way. Ooh, not a fun dream. Just like I just made out with Carlos. Where am I? What's going on? Three rocket explosions. Attention all citizens. Oh, she's got a little strike on Raccoon City will occur from that dart. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate now. Can't be. This is not a test. Well, you were planning to leave the city there anyways. Ooh, we are now past the point in time when Resident Evil 2 takes place. Okay. Leon, Claire, and Cherry are all out of Raccoon City now. All of Resident Evil 2 basically happens while Jill was sleeping. Shh, Bucky, you're okay. You're okay, Bucky. Blue, your interview is this week, right? Your dad's lap. No, Bucky. Hey, what time is it? Work. It is three o'clock, basically. Okay. Do you want to play Jill? Sure. Oh, it was Friday? How'd it go? I thought on Friday you said it was going to be this coming week, so I must have misunderstood. Or maybe it was this week that you find out? Yes, Bucky, you're very scary. Boy, 
crying, sunshine. You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried Night -night, you, I don't know. you himself. Crazy Probably like a half an hour or so? Where is he? He went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give this city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. So am I. Yeah. Damn right. Right. I guess I'm not talking you out of it. Ooh. The storage facility is underground, beneath this hospital. Stay there. I've lost contact with the others, so expect trouble. Anything else I can grab here? Luggage? No? Okay. He just wanted to talk. Whatever. Are they talking to me? There you go. Nice. Gonna get the Magnum. Means we're coming up to a big boss battle. Yep. And you got plenty of uh, ammo to use for that handgun, so we can get another spot. Nice. Good job, beautiful. Okay. Don't really think there's much else I can do with this right now. No. You got plenty of shotgun stuff too. I like the shotgun stuff. Yep. Bucky is loving the worship right now. looking for Carlos, right? I think so. And then this looks like Nikolai's work. Yeah, Nikolai's a dick. There's probably a bunch of like lockers and stuff we gotta open because of uh since we got Jill now. This is where we got the vaccine. Nothing else. Okay, nothing else in here. Lucky baby, stop flicking your leg. Hey, it's okay. You don't need to be anxious. Good little boy. I took them both outside, but neither one of them did anything. Oh, so just a... Nope. 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 Oh, I can't go back? What? Ah, oh, shit baskets. Oh! Really crappy that I can't go back out the door. That was bullshit. Ooh, can I start the way back here? Hang on. Do I want to store this? I mean, we've only got two things. We can't store it. I mean, we got a bunch of ammo. Yeah, I mean, you can store it. And just use our shotgun and our. Because we got a lot of ammo for it. We don't have that much ammo for that. Beautiful. Oh, well then if they both don't have ammo, then I might as well keep this. Yeah, and you, you got plenty of ammo for that if you want more ammo. There you go. Ooh. Okay. Guess you can sell this stuff before. No, I got it. Oh, did we? Yep. Okay. Huh? Can't do anything with that. Okay. I 
away in sunshine. Best start in you saved my life. Square and I skip it. Right. It was a badass line that she gave me. Storage facilities underground beneath the sun. I've lost contact with Carlos. So expect trouble. Nice. I'm fucking around. Nope. There's Rick's hat again. It's all right. You'll free spawn when you like, start unloading ammo on that thing. All right. Hmm. I don't have any... What? Doohickeys. Any grenades or anything. You do, we did, but they're in the case. Nice, just attach it to him. Okay. Not screwing around. Hmm. Ooh, can I crawl out there? No. No. That sucks. I should be able to crawl. Oh. See if Carlos is out here. Carlos. No, he's not. If I could be any villain, who would I be? Universe, uh, like there are just too many options. Um, be foxy, but It'd probably be Thanos, just because Bethany loves him so much. You've chosen poorly. Carlos plus Jill does equal sexy time. Oh, oh shit. Nice dodge. Shotgun shells. Oh, can I not pick them all up? Yeah, yeah no, no, you got, them, you got them all. They combined. Oh, no, I guess not. You can't pick them all up. <laughs> oh, shit, baskets. <laughs> all right. For that, we're going to get a shotgun. How about I pick them up now? 
You can get a couple. Can you combine you? No. Nope. Well, that's just not cool. It's fine, we got a ton of stuff. You can come back to it if you need it. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. You gotta reload first. You need some other little storage lock. What's up? So that's, you know, another storage lock where we can come back and grab stuff if we need it. It's an unconventional one. Oh, I think there's a storage locker in here. And a save point. I don't see a storage locker, though. Oh, sorry, storage case. Forever. Oh, you mean one of these guys? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. You don't need two handguns. And I don't have the magnum yet, so do I want yeah. the mag ammo? Yeah, it's the Oh, and you got rifle ammo now, so if you want to, you can get your grenade or store the rifle ammo. Okay. I'm gonna go back and get my shotgun shells out. <laughs> he says you can just delete the first pistol, it's a scam. Not a fan. That's what you said, too. No, that's what I just said. <laughs> oh, I thought you said someone else said it. Sorry, no. I misheard you. Still there. Some detail. Ooh, somebody cleaned out the safe. Anything over here for Jill? No. Okay, do you want to go this way yet? I don't know. There's a door in there. Go anywhere you want. Yeah, it is, for, I mean, a ton of items they give you. And it's good to know that it's not just on easy mode that they give you that. But I mean, I guess they give us more uh, spaces. So I can't even imagine trying to prioritize your resources in this game if you had like two spaces less in your hip pouch or in your storage. Okay. Okay, no, don't hop over that thing. <gasps> <laughs> oh, so is that all the X's just to hop over? Well, there's another thing I think over here, but if but we hopped over it, so... Hey, Andrea, greetings. I think I can squeeze oh. by. Nice. There you go. You don't need to go down there that way. Oh, just to get a butt shot of gel. Butt shot. Okay, so now I there jump you go. over. Now you jump over. Now we can get that case. 
There we go. So I guess it didn't even matter that you jumped over that other spot. There, oh, the Magnum. Nice. Although you don't have room. Oh, no, you do. Nice. Guaranteed to give you a headache. Nice one. Good one, Jill. All right. And then this was just a jump over. Yeah, which I think you have to, because I don't think you can get out any other way. Okay. I guess back upstairs? I guess so. I mean, you can check your map. I don't... I don't really know. Emergency entrance. Lobby. That's the first floor. Alright, let's see what we got up here. Treatment room, sick room. Got a cookie debate going on in the chat. Ooh, what's between? I don't know, I've seen a bunch of... Someone's throwing shade at Snickers Doodle. It might not be the best, but it's not the worst. And we're talking about best butt. What, and like all of Resident Evil and yeah. all of... Okay. Too many options. Mag, but I finally have the mag. You can get rid of some hand handgun ammo. The eight one, you can get rid of that one. Store the six shotgun shells. Let me take out the rest of your magnum ammo that's in there. Sure. If I could live in any timeline from fantasy to uh, real, where would I, oof. Um, any timeline. I'm trying to think of like a nice, like peaceful, happy one, but like, you know, those timelines don't exist. One where not every day is making freaking history. Yeah. Like, I mean, definitely not anything like Resident Evil or anything for fantasy. Um, so you'd th I like to think, like, I don't know, Lord of the Rings would be fun or... So that was kind of like now, because it was like all darkest before the dawn. But yeah, that's the, world and... that's the thing. And... We romanticized the past, but then... I don't know. We're gonna have things like air conditioning, which is nice. Dental hygiene. Dental hygiene, also nice. Um. We need ass measurements, is that what we need? Uh, Hugo, Resident Evil 3, we played, uh, Friday and, and today, um, we're off next week, so we'll, we'll pick it back up a week from next Friday. Is hopefully we'll be able to finish it then if we don't finish it today, which it's not looking like we're going to. But they did give us the Magnum, so you know. Steps. I live in a world where I live with wolves. All right, that's a good answer. The Starks. Hey Andrea, glad you're enjoying your first live stream. You can't get in the treatment room? Oh, there's something in the treatment room? There is, so like, okay. I clearly missed the treatment room, so how did I? So then I'm in here. Yeah, and then that's the treatment room, right? Yeah, okay. 
I don't know, she got me like a locket there, probably, or something. I can't pick it up anyway. Oh, okay. Uh, a time period and location you want for an Assassin's Creed game. I mean, I think Bethany would either do like the Ancient Egypt one or the sure. Roman Odyssey or Origin. And Paul wants to live in Food Wars. Uh, I did not see the Madam Web trailer. Oh, a, a, a time period and location you want for an Assassin's Creed game. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like one you want to live in. Because um, Jason said during the Spanish American War, that'd be a cool one. Um, you're more of the history buff. What time period would you want to, or would you want in an Assassin's Creed game that they haven't done yet? Let me think on that one. Okay. Okay, I guess that's the only way to go, and then you go out the courtyard again. But can you go back underneath that thing? A Japanese Assassin's Creed game? Yeah, that'd be Ooh, cool. Oh, yeah. I'd like that. That'd be cool. Or like, um... World, one, World War One Assassin's Creed? Yeah, they haven't... To the best of my knowledge, explored a lot of Asia, so like, even like ancient China and mm. Mongolian war and stuff like that would be like the building of the Great Wall of China. Like how about around that time? So we're just supposed to find Carlos. That's the mission. And is he in the, ho like, are we sure he's in the hospital? <laughs> Okay, what's that room? That's the treatment that room? room. Oh, that's true. Okay, yeah. Where I'm so fucking turned around now. Okay. Those explosives are that I can't pick up yet. All right. All right. We're getting out of here. So there's something on the first floor. It must be on the first. So the game was going to be done today, but then Bethany <laughs> spent three hours searching a hospital. Well, this, I mean... Out of all the places that in Resident Evil 3 so far that we've been to, like the, the hospital has been the most convoluted, like for me to navigate as well. And that's the original. Oh, okay. What you think out there? Yeah. Because there's a lock to pick there. Hmm. More explosive rounds, okay. But I can't pick him up. No. Shit. Just. Uh, hang on. What kind of gunpowder do you have? Is it just regular gunpowder? Oh no, it's it. High grade. Ah, fuck. Okay. Thanks, baby. So go back to uh, where Carlos, where, go back to the beginning. It's where we first were. I have no idea where that is. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> There's a door in the hallway there, okay. place is a fucking maze because like 
things are like blocked off and shit and Round. Oh, fuck this. Instant kill. It was the red door you just ran past, but we're here with, like, the dude. Hey, Malik! He's so curled up in your lap. How is it no one in the hospital ever noticed all this? Yes. Hmm. Elevator notice. You've identified an issue with the electrical box where concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads it and causes the fuse to blow. If you encounter this problem, can't get the elevator running, please stay calm. Gather fuses from the sub generators situated around the warehouse and use those to restore power from the main generator as quickly as possible. All right, there's a whole bunch of other stuff to do. I don't think we're going to finish it tonight for today. Okay, baby. Uh... Who are you? Don't need a lockpick anymore, I guess. Do we more of like the grenade launcher, launcher ammo? so much shit. Hmm. All right, 
so we couldn't finish it today. Nightlight was right. <laughs> Nightlight usually is. Yeah. Um, so pick this up uh, in a couple weeks. Um, we're off next weekend for streaming, and I uh, hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving for those that celebrate it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and not sure where the next game will be after Resident Evil 3. Um, but yeah, we'll continue this on, on Friday. We'll hopefully, I think, finish it a week from this Friday. Yes. Yes. So almost two weeks from now. Liam, we actually did the uh, Resident Evil 4 remake. We did it before Resident Evil 3. Uh, playlist is available on the channel. Um, you can check out all the live streams for that. We're not going chronologically. <laughs> no, we definitely are not. Oh yeah, Far Cry game. That might be fun to check out, is uh, mm. one of the Far Cry games. Yeah. Stay weird and horny chat. Be <laughs> good, <should> be free. <laughs> uh, Nightwalker. No need to apologize, Liam. It's all good. Yeah. Hey, Abdul, how you doing? Hi and bye. <laughs> Since we're signing off now. Mm -hmm. But oh, Jason, thank you for putting the, the link in there for Liam. And yes, BB, I will check Discord, of course. Um, Liam, happy binging the Resident Evil 4. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, everyone, have a great week. And, and for those who celebrate, a very happy Thanksgiving. Oh, oh big Bucky. yawn for little Bucky. Oh, 